Thanks for joining us, America. Great to have you here. Now let's move on to Wilmington Parks. I have here an article from the Star News. Da da da! Um, it says talking up parks. This is in the Wednesday, February 26th edition of the paper. Uh, the subheading is additional parks would boost quality of life, stimulate an economic development. That's what the panel says, at least. Uh, Julian March uh, is the writer of this article. Uh, starts, Lawrence Craig opened a Tuesday evening panel focusing on parks in the Wilmington area by invoking Wallace Stegner, who declared, Na National parks are the best idea we've ever had. Craig said, we all come here for the quality of life, and the parks add to that. Stop right there. That is a good point. But the problem is that uh, we need good, solid highway infrastructure around Wilmington so more people could have desire to fight traffic and go to the parks. Because I know from here, like, I can walk over my neighborhood or I can go to Smith Creek Park or Ogden Park. But if I go to Greenfield Lake or Hugh McCray or Holly Burton, I'm going to hit some traffic problems, unfortunately. And it might even still be a 15-20 minute drive, but it might turn like a 30-40 minute drive with traffic the way it is around here. So fix the roads! Okay, so the event was held at WHQR Front Street Studio. And by the way, WHQR is the NPR affiliate here in the Wilmington, uh, North Carolina media market. It's also sponsored by the Cape Fear Economic Development Council. Those are not sound great. Uh, now, Craig is a member of the council's board, and he talked about creating a vision for parks. Panelists took turns summarizing efforts to create past parks or preserve open space, and others talked up plans to create new or improved public spaces. Now we have uh, Ed Wolverton, a.k.a. the Wolverine, who is the president and CEO of, ready for this, Wilmington Downtown Inc. Dun, dun, dun. Now he said that parks can drive development in urban areas. Hmm. No. <laughs> because over the last, what, 50, 60 years, you've had people move in record numbers from the, the cities to the suburbs and that is not going to change anytime soon what you can do to invite people downtown is what uh... you can give them restaurants stores and make sure parking is free <laughs> one of the big mistakes here in Wilmington is parking is cost money uh... let's see here and now we have councilman kevin o'grady who gives his thoughts I like to call him Kevin the Leprechaun O'Grady. So let's go ahead. And I have this sound bite here. I want to play for you. Uh, to, let's get ready for Kevin O'Grady. A tiny keepsake from his good luck bracelet on every victim he kills. Scotland Yard would love to get their hands on that piece of evidence. Yeah, they're always after me, Lucky Charms. <laughs> what? Why does everyone always laugh when I say that? They are after me, Lucky Charm. <laughs> what? With a tail of his and commercials. <laughs> With his cartoon leprechaun. And all of these children are trying to chase him. Hey, leprechaun man, leprechaun man. With monster cage, your Lucky Charm. <laughs> oh, and there's always little tiny bits of marshmallows just stuck right in the cereal. So that when the kids eat them, they think, oh, this is candy, I'm having fun. <laughs> Special thank you to CJ3324 for that YouTube video. By the way, the movie is Austin Powers. Yes, the first one. The original. Uh, let's see here. Back to Kevin O'Grady. Here we go. Hopefully you're okay with my Irish accent. <clears throat> he says, Inside Wilmington city limits, there are lots of parks in the older parts of the city, but not as many in the eastern areas that were annexed more recently. There's still more need for parks over there, Lati. The problem is there's no land, Lati. <laughs> Stop right there. Why is there no land? Well, you see, back in the late 90s, Wilmington decided to annex 
Uh, decided to pretty much double in size and annex everything in landfall over towards Wrightsville Beach, uh, the area along Eastwood Road, that sort of thing. And that's all. Mm. Uh, yes, higher property taxes for residents and the problem is they were promised sidewalks, they were promised uh, lights, you know, street lights, and a lot of areas still have not gotten it. Also, as well as upgraded roads, they still have not gotten that either. Uh, let's see here. The Star New Sites, the city acquired the future Seagate Park which is off of uh, Greenville Loop Road, uh, as an example, because uh, a family donates the land. And finally, O'Grady says, We're not finding large tracts that people are either letty to sell or give to the city. And let's see, he, he uh, paper says, O'Grady did point out that the city's recent purchase of more than six acres for a park on the northern downtown riverfront. <coughs> the actual retail price of the city's purchase for taxpayers is four million dollars yes all that money wasted down the tubes and oh yeah they still want to buy this golf course or just spend more money on convention centers parks bike trails nobody uses meanwhile the roads and the traffic especially at college and oleander just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and yet only 11 percent of Wilmington residents decided to actually decide to vote in the last municipal election. It is just shame, shame, shame!